Okay, Florida Bins slash whatever Palm Beach Hall part two with Robin to resale, hashtag the lazy lister. If you didn't watch part one, it has all the information, but my husband came in from the pool and interrupted the filming. So I thought I would stop at 15 minutes, which was great. And now I'm going to show you the haul from yesterday, which was the bins in Fort Lauderdale, the bins in Lake Worth, and the Boca Boutique Goodwill, which was fancy. And today's hospice in Boca. I'm gonna start with that, uh, the Boca Hospice. They had the blue tag and red tag on half off. So um, we'll start with that. These are a pair of Silk Bergdorf Goodman, size two pants. They were $3. This is all stuff that is going to the real, real first because, oh, they're so pretty. Uh, because I am a lazy lister. I hate listing. Um, I do it. I'm on Poshmark, Macari, eBay, all those sort of things. But if I don't have to be, I don't want to be. Oh, these are really nice. These are St. John size four by Marie Claire. They were marked 16, but they were a blue ticket, so they were eight. Again, the real real doesn't mark it up very high, but I don't have to spend any time working on it. This is a Bagley Mishka uh, collection size eight dress. It was marked 14, so I paid seven because it was blue. Uh, these were some Hunter boots. I might sell these myself. No, they're really heavy. I don't know. Uh, these are some hunter boots. U.S. size, they're my size. I don't need them. I have boots. They need to be cleaned up. U.S. size 8. They're marked $4. <laughs> Grabbed them. Bunch of belts. Um, as we know, the real, real, really likes Saks Fifth Avenue. This was a $4 belt. This was, again, these are all from the hospice. Oh, I'm going to have to show this to the husband first before I before I do it, cause he does love Zegna, Zegna. It says Min Zegna belt, it was $4. It's re is it reversible? No, but the buckle comes off, I believe. So it, he can use it on other of his fancy belts that he paid retail for, God forbid, but he did. Um, this is another Saks Fifth Avenue belt. It's black. Please don't skip on belts. This They will mark these for like $75. I paid four, so I'm not gonna get very much money for it, but it's great. These Michael Kors gray slacks were listed as $5. They were blue, so I paid $2.50. This will be great for me when I go home because I don't have my computer with me, so I can just watch myself, which I don't like to do, but then <laughs> I can see how much everything costs. I already forgot how many were in the pile behind me. Okay, uh, a pair of Armani Collezioni slacks, women's. They were marked $6, but they were a blue tag, so I paid three bucks. Oh, awesome. Uh-oh, he's getting out of the shower now, too. Since they started taking Nicole Miller, this red sparkly top, it's super cute. It's a medium. It's kind of short medium, but it's cute. Nicole Miller, it was $3. There's the other one. Oh, this is pretty. Um, I think it's silk or polyester. Michael Kors, long sleeve, three six dollars. So I paid three. Uh oh. In homage to my grandmother, they take Lily Rubin. And my grandmother used to wear it. It was this little boutique store in Lakeside. And sh they uh very 1980s. Uh this is the jacket and the matching skirt. And it was a two piece for $29. So I paid 15, which is a lot, but it's two pieces. And they listed one of the Lily Rubens I bought for a whole lot more. So like 200 and something. It won't sell for that because nobody's really looking, but here's a really cool, fun Vince tank. It was full price. The only thing I bought there full price, it was $4. And the reason I did it was because it was my size. So I thought maybe I'd wear it tonight to 
Well, I have to wash it first, so I won't be wearing it tonight's dinner. It's quite pilly, so, and dirty. It needs a wash. Put it in the wash basket. Okay. Now, that was today. And let's talk about the bins. I'm not sure which bins this stuff came from because I just washed it and put it in the bag to go home. This is a champion jersey. Sometimes they take champion at the real real. Sometimes they don't. Catherine Molendarno. They take the kids, not the women's. So that was a band that's fine. This is a champion, I mean, sorry, Columbia dress with the actual string. And I must have found it at the bins because it's been washed and has no tag. This is a Columbia fleece size medium nope size extra large it's been washed i'm not sure if they're gonna take this armani exchange but it was in the bins so i grabbed it more air jordan i think it's kids oh you can't see sorry i'm on the floor my mom's house isn't really set up for this uh, i found a couple of all saints t-shirts my husband's like that's a spot i'm like that's the logo a Michael Kors. Uh, oh yeah, this is the one where he thought there was a spot. Cause right on it, the logo. Another All Saints. Then I found this brand Ra. I've never heard of it before, but it felt so good. There were a whole bunch of them, but I don't want to have extra stuff. So I bought a couple. They feel really good. They're in really good condition. Uh, I'll show you the, the tag and we'll find out what happens with raw. This shirt I loved, especially because of the holiday time. I thought that was great. Uh, this is a pretty tattered Michael Kors top. They don't take it. Either buy, sell, trade, or thread up will. This is another raw shirt. This I bought for my Madison, so it doesn't count. She's nuts, and I'm taking the kids. Thanks to everybody who has ever bought from my store or uh, Robin to resale or anything like that, for my uh, stuff on the real real. I'm using that money to take the kids to Universal, so that's what I'm using the money for. Um, Athletia top, it was in the bins, so that'll go to wet up, I guess. I did get for me or because we need for when we go a robe for Hogwarts um uh, Gryffindor sorry I did buy Madison the wrong one and we had to get a Slytherin one for her so I bought this for me Maddie or whoever to support my oldest this is I'm keeping I think let's try it on a Lululemon sweater. Let's see. It might be too big and too small in the arms because I have big old arms, but I think I like it anyway. But I don't like feeling tight on my arms. So, oh. Okay, now I'm really tangled. I think this might get listed. It seems too confusing. Too much fabric for me. Oh my goodness, I just take it off and start over. It has thumb holes and everything. This was a bins find. Okay, it's gonna get listed. Anyway, this one won't get listed. I'll keep this. This, I should list it, I know, because I don't need another hoodie. But it's a Lululemon size medium. No thumb holes though. Go figure. Huh. It's got the Lulu. This was at the bins. I guess I should list it. It's okay. Ugh, it's so hot in Florida to try on sweatshirts. Okay. I know it's even hotter in Maryland, actually. This, um, I'm going to send in. This Scott McClintock, not Jessica, but it says $6. So I must have bought it or found it in the bin. I don't know. Sorry if you hear background noise. That's um, 
Hubsy watching TV upstairs. This I got for one of my kids. I'm not sure which. Ash usually doesn't wear black, white. He likes black, so Madison will probably get it, but I think it's a little large for her. Uh, let's, oh, since we're in Florida, in the bins, we do find a lot of lily. This is a large, it's a long sleeve. So cute. Um, probably a local buy, sell, trade. I'll get more than, I mean, the real wheel doesn't take Lily. And the only reason I picked it up is because it was the bins. Um, yep. Okay, so this I got at the Goodwill. I don't know what it is. I think this brand is taken at the real real. Can you see it? It has a little tie thing on the back. It was twelve ninety nine. Uh, minus twenty five percent. So I must check to make sure the real real takes it. Oh, this was a fun find in the bins. It was. Um, I have no idea what it is. It's a little spoon, and it's sterling. And if you can see, it says Rolex on it. So maybe it was like a display thing or something. I don't know. And it has Butchers of Switzerland written on the back. These Apple cameras are so much better. Um, so we're gonna send it in and see what Jenny can do with it. She's coming Thursday. We get back on Monday night. I said, give me some time. I gotta put all this in the computer. Um, we got these Uggs. They look brand new. If I have the whatever, I mean, I say I'm gonna list them, but I know I'm not. So I'll just send them in with, the other one is so good, I do have the other one. <laughs> I found some uh, Smith goggles. I would imagine these were in a bin because I don't see a price tag. I don't know if this is real or fake, but it was in a bin. So I'm gonna send it in and if they keep it, in, it's broken here. So I can't tell, I don't know enough because I don't really like the brand even though I have a few. I'm gonna send it in. If they said keep it because it's fake, they keep it because it's fake. And if they sell it because it's real, then woohoo. Um, this is another Lily Pulitzer long sleeve. It's pretty worn. I don't think the local buy sell trades are gonna take it. I'll try, but then I'll stick it in my, oh, oh, then I'll stick it in my thread up box. More Lulu. So, I like this tank, but it's not long enough to cover my tummy. This was a bins find. I couldn't believe it. I was like, wow. Um, oh, this is a cute one. This was also bins, a Lululemon t-shirt. So I think I'll just take all these to my local buy sell trade because they give me a pretty decent price for Lulu. A pair of Hudson jeans. They're really tiny, but they were in the bins. So yay. All right, this I must've gotten at the Goodwill Boutique because it Either the, well, no, it must have been the boutique because that still has a price tag on it. It's a woman's Columbia button, snappy front size, I don't know. We're gonna send it in. It was $6.99 minus the 20%, 25%. This was a Diane von Furstenberg dress, which they really only mark, oh, well, it's 100% silk, so maybe they'll mark it decent. It's a size four DBF. Um, I paid $7.99 minus the 25%. This brand, let's see, a blazer. Oh, I didn't get a bunch of these today. I turned down a bunch. I had a bunch of Manny pants. It's the diffusion line of Armani. Oh, the reason I guess I grabbed it is because it had a sax tag. Um, $7.99 minus the 25%. But I, I turned a bunch down today at Goodwill because I was like, oh my God, we have so much stuff to carry back. And my husband's like, we need to get another basket and another suitcase. And I'm like, no, no, we'll be fine. This is Linda Siegel. It was $7.99. Very fun. Very, I think it's like an 80s vibe. I mean, I would wear it. I think it's great. Um, yeah, it was $7.99. That was from the boutique, the Goodwill boutique. Um, in Columbia, I'm feeling. Short sleeve Columbia. Uh, looks like men's, yeah, men's regular fit button down. From the boutique, $6.99. I don't know why I paid that much. I don't normally. Um, Columbia, I usually like to get
get it when it's 75% off at home, but whatever. This was a Rachel Zoe. It was really cute. It was $9.99, so I paid $7.50. This is, oh no, they have spots on the bottom. These were Theory khakis. Oh, they're size eight, so I guess I could keep them from this thing. And they're, um, they were $7, minus 25%. I'm gonna put them in my pile, because I saw stains. Again, homage to the grandmother. This is a Lily Rubin jacket. It was $7.99, minus the 25%. A more casual, but lovely detailed. Jacket, Lily Rubin, $7.99 minus 20%. If you want to know what the tag for Lily Rubin looks like, it is definitely 80s vibe. My grandma passed away in 2001. This is the fancy Lily Rubin. Uh, this is an Adrian Maddox dress, but it's Adrian by Adrian Maddox. So I paid $7.99 minus. 25%, very pretty. Um, they just started taking Terry John. It's a long gown. Terry John, size 10. I paid $7.99. There's a belt that goes with it. At the bins, I got some True Religion flip-flops. They got foot prints in them, but they don't look that bad. I don't know. Um, I also found Christian Dior tie at the bins. A couple of ties, hang on. A, oh, Ralph Lauren purple label tie. And a Armani tie. Sometimes they take them, some days they don't. I also found this Eddie Borgo bag. I think I'm gonna use it tonight, actually. B-O-R-G-O at the bin, at, not the bins, at the boutique for $6.99. Oh, and the final thing, this was at the bins. Oh no, sorry, teaser. This was, oh, I should've stood up. Oh no, it's a bad angle. I don't know who these leggings are. JoLynn, JoLene, JoLynn. They looked nice, so I grabbed them. This one I'm gonna list. It's probably gonna be on my shop, thrilling, Poshmark, everything. It is, I just, it's gonna take me a while to get it listed. And Crystal from Galaxy Finds promised she would help me with the listing. This is a wedding gown I pulled out of the bins. Y'all, the only issues, first of all, it was at Goodwill for $80, but it was on the hanger, which I didn't take the hanger because I didn't wanna pay extra for a hanger. The only issues I see, and I haven't really taken a huge look at it, are some discoloration up at the neckline. And I, and you know, throughout the back, it has the buttons, the zipper, which work, I hope, let's see. If not, we'll use a pencil because I learned that trick from Thrifter Sisters. Yes, there's no tag, so I'm thinking it's handmade. Look at the details and at the bottom. So I've never listed, oh, there's, there's a spot. There is a spot there. I've never listed wedding gowns before. And the liner has, is there crinoline? No crinoline, just a liner, which is better. I don't think anybody wants crinoline these days. It's beautiful and the arms so it could really be worn any season, I think, because the sheer, but yeah. So that was the big one. So that's everything. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching this two-part episode. I don't know what the cost of goods are because I spent $363 total. I will divide it up by the number of items there were in the two videos and find out my cost of goods and maybe add that on before I upload this, but maybe not. So thank you so much for watching Robin to Resale, hashtag the lazy lister, and make sure to like and subscribe. Go ahead and find, none of this is listed because I'm not home, <laughs> but there's other stuff that's listed in eBay, Poshmark, Macari, 
other places. So thanks so much and have a great day.